Here's my philosophy. Every living thing on this planet originates from the same source of life. That source we refer to as God, and within it flows the Spirit of Christ, in whom we are to unite. This is why we are told to be of one mind. But when you have people who live outside of that law, it creates adversity and confusion within the Earth's atmosphere. When these sorts of negative energies began to manifest, God called forth a chosen people to speak out against them, to spread love and positivity. We are God's chosen people. I pray for the day that our souls awake and migrate to a place where we are taught how to walk by faith and not by sight. A place where we can unite as one body in Christ because until then we'll spend the rest of our lives in search of freedom. Hands tied behind our backs under the arrest of a system designed to serve and protect a certain sect of individuals, not including ourselves. We'll remain segregated until we break the chains of disengagement, psychological locks, profound methods of enslavement we shall overcome, engraved in wet pavements I played in as a child toying with the possibilities. But then one day God said unto me, I am that I am. So as for you, just be. He said, this is what it means to be free and surely I have seen the oppression of my people and how they've continued to live on the lonely islands of poverty, drowning in a vast ocean of material prosperity, afraid to wake up and break the monotony but the time has come to fulfill such prophecies and promises of democracy. On August 28, 1963, Dr. Martin Luther King had a dream. Fifty years later, this nation has yet to rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. Slavery is indeed still alive, though disguised. Deprived of our true identities, we've been forced to live vicariously through the European family tree, kept completely unaware of our history, so we as Negroes still aren't free. Therefore, we lack the dignity to stand up and lead, but I have a dream that once we allow freedom to ring and grant all of God's children the freedom to be, an innocent teen can walk down the street in peace with a pack of Skittles and tea and know exactly what it means to be free. Sincerely written, Danny B.